Yo, what's up, guys? This is Chung here again. So, uh, let's take a look at another uh, lead called problem today. Uh, number 463, uh, island perimeter. So, yeah, I, I think I like this problem here. So, you're given like a uh, a map, a two-dimensional array here, which consists of only zero and ones. And the ones represent, one represents the part of the island, zero means water. And so, and it tells you there's no lake uh, inside of the island, which means inside of the, uh, inside of the, the area, area of the ones, there's no, uh, there's no zero, right? And you need to return the perimeter of this island. So what does the perimeter mean, right? For example, here we have a, this is the, the ones, right? So the one, uh, one is uh, consists of the, forms the island and the perimeter is the out edges on the outside. So that's one, two, three, basically one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. That's where this 16 come from, right? So, uh, how can we, how can we, uh, get this number, right? I think one of the observations we need to think about, you know, the, uh, Let's say there's one square here, let's see. So if there's only one, one square, then obviously the answer will, is, is four, right? So, and every time, okay, every time, let's say it, we find another square uh, on its neighbor, no matter what direction, can, could be up, down, left, or right, but no matter what, in which direction, right? So what does it mean to this four here? It means that, Okay, so basically, the two will be become one, right? So that's that's why we'll be doing four minus one. So basically, for the current uh, square here, as long as there is like a, a neighbor on on any directions, we 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 simply decrease by one, and we sim and we can just loop through all the all the ones, and for all the ones we check. If the if this one has any neighbors on four directions, if there is, we, for each direction, for each neighbor, we minus we do a minus one. Okay, cool. So pretty straightforward. Let's start coding here. And uh, okay, M length great. Okay, N is length to great zero, right? And then uh, I'm gonna directions so that I don't have to write the same code uh, for four times. So I'm gonna be up, right? Up, down, left, and then right. Okay, that's the four directions, right? That we need and for each we simply loop loop through each of the element in this 2d array here in range m right and then for j in range uh n right what do we do so if first we're gonna do an answer equals to four right sorry zero if the grade uh, i, j is one, right? So first we, we plus, we plus four to the answer here, right? And then we check how many neighbors does this, this one have, right? And then four direction in directions, right? New i plus d zero, right? And then new j equals to j plus d1, right? And then uh, if this uh, new, we do a, a boundary check first, right? 
and to M, right? And the zero is the uh, new J, uh, between zero and the boundary of the column here, right? And what? And uh, and the grade, right? One and sorry, grade the new I and J is one, right? And new J is one. We can do either one where we can uh, skip that part, right? Then we do what? We minus, we decrease by one, right? In the end, we simply just we simply return the answer here. So that should do it, right? So I, every time we, we plus four here, and then for each of the neighbors, we decrease the answer by one for the current current uh, square for the current one, right? And since we're and then when we basically when we are here, right there, let's say there are like two ones next to each other. At the total, what's the total? Basically, if we basically we, we will be re reduced one for this square and also one from this square, right? Basically, if there is like a a, a uh, two ones connect to each other, the total the total like uh, edges we need to decrease is two, right? But in this case, since we're going to loop through this one here once and then this one, so that's why we every time we decrease it by one for the current one. Okay, so let's just run it. It should just work. Cool, yeah, so pretty straightforward. You know, actually there's another way, you know, uh, you know, as you can, you, you guys might must have, uh, have thought about it. So can we use DFS? Right or or B or, or BFS, so that we only uh, we can only loop through the uh, the ones because let's say there's like let's say the uh, the the M and N is it's huge, right? And but the island is very small, right? In that case, we'll 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 still uh, traverse a loop through the whole M and N. Regard uh, even uh, right. So one of the small improvements we can do here is I think we can, as long as we find the first one here, we can just uh, start from there. Which we, we just use a DFS or BFS, whatever, w w whichever we feel com uh, comfortable. We just uh, start from there. Since there's, we're gonna uh, use use that uh, traverse traverse all the ones. Right. Uh, you know what? Let's try. Let Let's try to call that that uh, that solution here. So similar similar logic here, but in instead of that, we just do. Uh, uh, we're gonna have have a queue here, basically. And uh, let's create a queue, right? So I think in this case I'm gonna use the uh, the breadth first search uh, as a so I'm gonna use the queue here uh, collections right dot uh, dq okay and so what's gonna be in the in this like in the queue right so it's gonna be a tuple of the uh, the i and j right so since we're doing that and most likely we're gonna use like the visited or seen uh, set to uh, so that we, it won't stuck into the infinite loop, right? So scene dot add. I'm gonna add this like i and j to it, right? And then uh, let's see. So here and while q right and we do a what we do a pop right so I, actually here it doesn't really matter actually if we do a, la a level uh, breadth first search we can simply do a we just as, as long as we, we loop through all the ones here it, it's fine right so we can just do a and uh, the current a current i right current i and current j 
right? Equals to what? Equals to the, the Q dot pop left, right? We can do actually either pop left or pop right, doesn't really matter. And because sequence in this case doesn't, doesn't it's, it's fine. And it was to a same thing, right? Plus four. And then basically we're doing the, the same thing here, right? Basically, for each four directions, we do this, right? If and and what? And, uh, okay, I think here uh, we're going to do a little bit uh, change here. So if it's in the range, we check, we check. And first we check if this one is one, right? Then we know for sure we need to... Uh, remove one from this from the current re result right that's the first thing we need to check and second one we check what we check if if this uh new i and j new j not in the scene right then we know okay that's the, the this is the one we we need to be processed later later right then we add it to the queue uh, queue dot append and new i and new j, right? And then of oh, don't forget to add this scene to the uh, the new new coordinates to this to the uh, to the set here, right? And then here we can simply return here, return this here, right? Yeah, that should also work. Let's see. Okay. Oh, here. Add here. Since we're adding a tuple here. Mm. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see. Uh, I think I know what happened here. So uh, this if has to be inside here, inside of this if here. Basically, everything has to be start from zero, from one. So it, if this one, we uh, we decrease the the answer by one. And then if this one has not been seen before, we'll just append this one for the next uh, process, All right? And then, hmm, let's see. Ah, I think another mistake here. Current I, not the I here. Yeah. Current I, yes, not the... This is what happened if, if we didn't prepare for this video. <laughs> okay, finger crossed. All right, this time, at least it's accepted. Let's try to submit it. All right, cool. At least I made it. So, <laughs> okay. So this is just a, like a little bit improvement uh, by looping through everything from this for this uh, uh, for the entire 2D arrays. Basically, the first time when we see a one here, when we see a one here, we just start from there. We use uh, like a this is like the uh, the BFS, but without the, uh, the the level control here. We just simply look through all the ones starting from here. And for each of the that one, each of the one we, we see, we use the same logic as before. We uh, we plus it, we we increase the the answer by four, and then we check how many neighbors does this one have, yeah, right? So, how many na ones neighbor uh one neighbors, right? Neighbor has the value equals to one. If it has, we just simply re reduce by one, and we do a, we will introduce a hash set here. If this like uh, if the new neighbor if the neighbor has not been seen, then we know okay we can st uh, add it to the queue so that this neighbor can be processed next time. Okay, cool guys. I think that's it for this problem. It's an easy problem. Yeah, I think so. But I like it. Cool guys. I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching the video and. Let me know if you, if you guys want to see any other solutions or any other kind of kind of videos. Yeah, I'll be more than happy to uh, to do it.
Thank you. Bye bye.